Literary Analysis Project by Xavier Durker, Jacob Fahey, and Dan Borgenkircher. A Certain Slant of Light There's a certain slant of light, winter afternoons, that oppresses like the heft of cathedral tunes. Heavenly hurt it gives us, we find no scar, but internal difference where meanings are. None may teach it, any, tis the seal of despair, any imperial affliction sent us of the air. When it comes, the landscape listens, shadows hold their breath. When it goes, tis like the distance on the look of death. Imagery Commentary Slant of Light Light, usually associated with brightness or happiness, but with an angle to it. It symbolizes some other happy concept, like a memory with a sour twist, like the thought of a loved one who has recently died. Cathedral tunes. Music in cathedrals, which can often be overbearing and loud, is symbolic of the nature of a memory, something that is pleasant, yet has too strong of an existence. Scar. A physical mark upon the skin that symbolizes one of the soul or mind. It stands... For the change brought by a concept or thought that challenges ideals and normalcy. Heavenly hurt it gives us. The light evokes a pain that almost feels good, or it may teach some value or lesson helpful to those who feel it. We can find no scar. The light leaves no physical marks. It can't be touched. It can only be felt and can only mark deep in the mind. None may teach it. The pain and its accompanying lessons or emotions cannot be brought about by anyone. Only the light can give this experience. Diction Commentary Internal, something within. This speaks to the fact that only a difference within some complex of a person can be found after encountering this light. There is no physical mark from this light. It leaves a mark in the mind or soul. Shadows, a deep spot from black and light, or a symbolic lack of something in the mind that is highlighted by this light. Death, the end of life, or a complete absence of anything. This can also be a reference to the persona of death, one who takes the souls of the dying. The LAP for A Certain Slant of Light. In her poem, A Certain Slant of Light, Emily Dickinson uses the keen diction to create a tone of bitter sweet pain. She talks of a light that comes in dreary winter afternoons, one that opposes with heavenly hurt. The ray is bright yet slanted with an odd notion, like the memory of a loved one tinged with the sadness of death. Just as the thought of those who passed the blissful nature of this light keeps it in the heart while the, its painfulness twists, bears down on the mind. The light in its darker facets leave no scar, only imparting emotional affliction in the shadows of thought. Internal change is brought about by the light, being faint, yet affecting the character without explicit difference. Those deep marks are all that remain when the light fades and Haunt the psyche of, with the sour pain they leave behind. A deep sense of sweet, quiet pain is effectively put forth by sharp diction and is effectively communicated by Dickinson. The overall theme of Certain Slant of Light is that memories can shape and affect who we are and what we become. Now the tone of the poem is wistful. Wait for me, to Valentina Serova. Wait for me, and I'll come back. Wait with all you've got. Wait when dreary yellow rains tell you you should not. Wait when the snow is falling fast, when summer's hot. Wait when yesterdays are past and others are forgot. Wait when from that far-off place letters don't arrive. Wait when those with whom you wait doubt if I'm alive. Wait for me and I'll come back. Wait in patience yet. 
when you they tell you off by heart that you should forget, even when my dearest ones say that I am lost, even when my friends give up, sit and count the cost, drink a glass of bitter wine to the fallen friend, wait, do not drink with them, wait until the end, wait for me and I'll come back, dodging every fate, what a bit of luck, they'll say, those who would not wait. They will never understand how amidst the strife, by your waiting for me, dear, you had saved my life. Only you and I will know how you got me through. Simply, you knew how to wait. No one else but you. 1941 Imagery Commentary Yellow Rains Rain is typically considered dreary, and the color yellow complements the mood with its own mellow feel. This can also be a reference to the mustard gas used in the war that tells Serova her friend Simonov has little to no chance of living. Snow This brings the thought of a winter landscape, which lacks color or definition and is seemingly desolate. It can be symbolic of Sorova's mind being desolate in regards to hope for Simonov. Bitter wine. The wine Sorova may drink is bitter because it is a formal admission to complete loss of Sorova, and it will leave a taste that will always remind her of him. Detail Commentary. Wait until the end. Sin Simonov tells Sorova to have hope until the end of the war, implying that he will make it, trying himself to instill hope. I'll come back, dodging every fate. Simonov gives another assurance of his survival, promising he will return to Sorova, having beaten the odds of death in war. Do not drink with them. This is another call for Sorova to have hope. He tells her to remain strong and not to lose hope even when others do so. Ditch and commentary. Wait. This implores one to have hope and remain confident in what is waited for. It puts so any sort of excitement or positive notion on pause for a given amount of time, which allows negative feelings to fill the void. Forget, in this context, it references Simonov and his absence from the minds of those who anticipate his return. Something he does not want to happen with Serova. Lost. This is the end of having something in possession. Like the minds of Simonov's loved ones losing possession of hope for him, or thinking he himself has lost to the immense odds against his survival of the war. In his poem, Wait for Me, Konstantin Simonov uses striking detail to add to the effect of everlasting love. Simonov believes that he will always be there for his loved ones, even when snow is falling fast or summer is hot. He does not want them to drink with them. Rather, he desires them to wait till the end. No matter what happens in life or nature, the author has faith that his family and wife will not be unfaithful to him. He believes she will not cheat on him and she will wait until her husband one day does come back. Although it may seem a little awkward, others will never understand the faith they have for each other. And only she knew how to wait. Everyone else in society may eventually view Simonov's wife as a hermit, but only she will know how her husband really is. No one could wait, therefore giving up and moving on, assuming grief of the author. The detail in Wait for Me builds upon the idea of eternal love. Overall, the theme for the poem, Wait for Me, is faithfulness is key to survival. The tome is hopeful.